Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another haul video. So as you may have seen already by the title, I'm actually partnering up with House of CB for this video, which is literally insane to me. I've shopped there for so long and I absolutely love their stuff. So in today's video, I have all of this stuff to go through with you guys and in here is a load of the things from their festive collection this year. Obviously Christmas and New Year is just around the corner. I feel like November is now an acceptable time to start talking about Christmas and House of CB, like I say, have come out with all of their party collection, which I'm so in love with. So they very kindly let me pick out a few items to show you guys and give you a little bit of inspiration if you have some kind of Christmas dinners coming up or you want a staple dress for New Year. Obviously House of CB are a little bit more pricey but I personally have always had a really good experience with their stuff. It's always been super nice quality that definitely reflects the price. That being said you just saw how many things we have to get through. I'm going to cut this intro here and put the camera down because I'm actually wearing the first piece right now. Okay so this is what the first dress looks like in full and I am so beyond happy with this dress. It was a little bit of a wild card for me because I never feel like this kind of one shoulder vibe really suits me. I personally feel like I have quite broad shoulders, but I actually find that this specific design is really helping to like narrow my upper half. I think it also helps with the way that it cinches you in at the waist, but as you guys can see, this is almost like a half a blazer dress design. So it has the long sleeve detail here, and then it also has this strapless detail side to it. I just think this is such a unique piece that looks absolutely stunning, and it's gonna suit so many different body types. Just because I feel like this detail around the middle is super, super forgiving, and it's gonna be so flattering. All of the prices of these items and the sizes that I picked everything up in would of course be on screen as I'm speaking about them. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this first piece. I definitely think it's going to be a lot more wearable than I originally thought. So with the next item, you buy it as one dress, but you actually get sent the item separately, which I think is so good because you basically get in two outfits in one. You're going to be able to see this one so much better on, but essentially the base of the outfit is this gorgeous bardo dress. As you can tell, it has these cup details all made into the dress, which I find are so supportive. So like I say, that is the base and it's just going to be such a staple for this time of year anyway. I feel like this on its own with a big coat thrown over the top is a look in itself. But this is actually the other part of the dress which you wear on top of this one. So like I say, you're going to be able to see it so much better on. So I'm just going to get into this one and we can speak about it more. Before I add the second piece to the outfit, I wanted to show you what this dress looks like on its own because I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by it. It's so figure flattering again. It goes in super nicely at the waist here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but it basically has this stitched in bodice detail here, which I think is what's really helping to give this kind of like hourglass shape. And like I say, even on its own with just some plain strappy heels or something like that you could style it in so many different ways however of course this dress does come with this bit over the top so i'm going to throw that on and we can see what it looks like as the full outfit now i've put this bit on i feel like it's completely changed the look and it looks like a completely different dress which honestly i love because it just shows how much you really do get two looks out of this outfit when i first saw this on the website i wasn't too sure but it was one of those pieces that i kept going back to so i wanted to pick it up and see what i thought but now i do have it and i've tried it on i really do like it i think it's such a good piece for the festive season like these colors just scream Christmas and New Year to me I think it's such a stunning color combination and I'm really really happy with this I think this whole section hangs so nicely and again I'm loving this whole one shoulder detail and I just think it helps to flatter the dress even more so yeah I'm really really happy with this piece okay so I'm gonna stick on the theme of bardo dresses for now this was honestly the first thing that I put in my basket because I was so drawn to it I think the cut of it and the design and everything is so ridiculously stunning but like I said at the start I'm fully aware that House of CB are a little bit more of an investment piece and to me this this is the perfect style that I'd like to invest in just because I know how much I'd rewear it. And again, it's very easy to style it in various different ways and create so many different looks with the same dress. So the top half to it looks like this. It has this gorgeous, like almost A-line detail where the right-hand side of the dress is a lot higher than the left, but then it wraps over in the middle. I feel like the shape of this is gonna skim off your hips a lot nicer and just be even more flattering than this bodycon one that I'm wearing right now. I do really like this one and I do still think it's very flattering, but it is definitely a lot more of a tighter fit. So I'm really intrigued to try this on and yeah I have high hopes so I'm not gonna lie and I really hope that it looks good. I'm so happy with this piece because I feel like I've not been disappointed in any way. I think it's the perfect length and it's the perfect fit. Like I know I say a lot of their stuff is figure flattering but this is like next level. If I come in closer you'll be able to see how much this is cinching my waist in and then it just skims over my hips so so nicely. I love this top detail to it. I think it makes it look so expensive and again it's just more of like a different design that I've not seen before. That is honestly one of my favorite things about House of CB because most of their stuff is pretty out 
up there. Honestly, that's what I look for when I'm spending a little bit more money on things. But yeah, I feel like this is one of my favorite things at the moment. I know it's a bit of a classic piece, but like I say, I'm just gonna wear this so many times and I can already see about 10 different looks that I can create with it. From the back as well, it's super flattering. All of these dresses just do up with a hidden zip at the back. And honestly, you can feel them like pulling you in when you're doing it up, which I personally love. It makes me feel really secure. And of course, all of it feels like such nice quality. I don't wanna say that for every piece because honestly, when you order from House of CB, quality is something that you can 100% expect. With this next piece, I'm really intrigued as to what this is gonna look like on me and if it's gonna suit me, just because I absolutely love the concept and I think it's such a stunning design again. But I held this up against me and I felt like it was quite long, but almost to where it cuts off at quite an awkward length. So I'm really intrigued by this one. But the top half is absolutely stunning again. It's basically got this high neck to it. And then as you can tell, it more or less has no sleeves. This is another neckline that I feel like will either flatter me or not really help to flatter me. So we'll see about that when I try it on. But the main talking point of this dress is the bottom half. So this is one of those concepts where it goes really quite high up your hip and then it has these gorgeous like strings of diamonds and they just sit over your hips and hang so nicely. I think that this detail makes any dress look ridiculously expensive. So I'm obsessed with this. Honestly, I'm just intrigued to try it on to see if it flatters me or not. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this one. It actually fits a lot nicer than I thought it would. The one thing I would say is I think I got this in a medium and I went true to size, but honestly, I probably could have got away with a small. Most of the other ones that I've tried on so far have definitely fit a lot more snug, which like I say, I like because I like to feel supported and like I'm sucked into my dress. But with this style specifically, I feel like it needs to fit a lot tighter. Again, I do actually think that it's very flattering around your waist area. So yeah, I do really like the concepts and everything. I just think I should have gone down a size so it hugged my body a lot more. And then from the back, it's just so cute. It has the same design as the front. If you're looking for a New Year's dress and you love a little bit of sparkle, then highly recommend this one. So this time I'm gonna stick with the theme of the high neck dresses because this has exactly the same neckline to it. It kind of has like a little funnel neck up here, which I really like. This is definitely up there with one of my favorite pieces from this haul. Again, it's a piece that's gonna be super timeless and I'm gonna be wearing it for many years to come, providing I look after it, which I swear. House of CB are the only items that I make sure I look after, just because I want them to last as they're meant to. So this is much more of a modest design, I would say. It's very covered up on the top half. And I feel like if you love your legs and that's your favorite part of your body, this would be so good for you because it has these gorgeous balloon sleeves to it. Like these are huge, but I think they're such a stunning statement. And then the whole of the front of the dress is completely covered up. It does cinch you in at the waist though, which I'm excited to see how that flatters the body. And then it goes down into this gorgeous skirt, which has quite a bit of elastic to it. And yeah, like I say, I feel like the top half does all the talking with the massive sleeves but again if you do really like your legs like a bit of fake tan on them make them look glowing and this will be the dress for you okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys this literally took me about 15 minutes to honestly wiggle myself into it was a task but i feel like i've definitely gone a little bit wrong on the sizing but we're in and i'm so happy that i did manage to get this on because how freaking stunning is this piece i did say that this is probably up there with my favorite pieces but honestly now i have it on i think it probably is my favorite piece i just think it's such a statement and it's such a beautiful piece but it's very understated. Obviously with it being all black, it's not like you're rocking crazy, crazy color and you're not going too out there, but I feel like when people see the details of it, that is kind of what does the talking. Honestly, it needs a little bit of esteem. I did get this out of the packaging today, but I love this bottom half. It basically has this kind of sash detail here. And also I love that it cinches you in so much at your waist. I just think it is such a stunning piece. And again, this is so easy to pair with. Literally any heels you want, even flats, if you're not a heels kind of gal, this is gonna be super versatile and a very timeless piece. Yeah, honestly, I think I found my favorite dress literally ever definitely have a look on there if you do want some brightly colored things because they did not disappoint with the like neons they had blues they had pinks like they had so much going on so if you're not a little bit more understated like me and literally go for black gray and white and everything then i promise they will have stuff for you as well okay so i feel like this next dress has a kind of similar vibe to the one that i currently have on however the top half definitely does a lot more talking in this one so as you can see it has a gorgeous plunge v-neckline to it and then this is a little detail that you'll be able to see better when i actually have it on just because it will show up against my skin but it has a really again kind of unique collar to it it almost sits flat against your skin which i really like the idea of i've seen this on various different girls and it looks super flattering on all of them so i'm intrigued to see how it's going to fit on me but it also has shoulder pads in it this one does too i forgot to mention that but there are huge shoulder pads in here i'm not going to lie but i think it definitely adds to the more kind of expensive look of the dress and makes it a lot more glam so i like that this dress has that aspect too but then the bottom to this dress has the same kind of concept as the one that i have on which is why i went for it again with the wrap over detail and the ruching and everything it's so forgiving and so flattering to your bottom half so yeah i'm gonna try this one on and we can see what it looks like so once again i'm so not disappointed by this one i do however feel like it's a dress that again i could have gone potentially down one size in just so it fits a lot more snug and again hugs my body a lot more but either way it actually does still fit really nicely and i can definitely get away with it i'm obsessed with the bottom half of this dress 
I didn't realise that it actually does completely wrap over, which I think gives this gorgeous shape at the bottom here. And obviously with it going up into the ruching detail here and everything, it's just a really forgiving dress and I think it's going to look so nice on so many different body shapes. And just so many people out there will love this. It's again another really timeless piece. Please just excuse my tan lines, it was only because the bikini that I was wearing was a bandeau bikini, so hence why I'm looking a little bit pale here. This is the type of collar that I was talking about, I feel like you can see it now it's against my skin. I just think it's very different, I haven't seen anything like this again on the high street or anything so it just makes it another unique piece which i love on the back it's super flattering i feel like this is also such a nice length dress some of them can sometimes come up quite short but yeah i feel like this one is a really nice modest length so the final item that i have to show you guys from their party wear section is actually a pair of trousers the model online had paired these with a cow neck vest and i just thought it was such an easy look to throw together so i thought these would be a really good staple over this time of year because if i run out of ideas for outfits and i just feel like wearing trousers and a nice top these would be the perfect trousers to go for. As you can tell, they have this kind of like wet look to them. I'm really intrigued to see how these are gonna fit because now I have them, it feels like there's a lot of material here. It did look like they were kind of ruched up on the model, which I really like that concept. So I'm hoping they are gonna fit like that, but yeah, they just feel really soft in material. So I'm literally just gonna get into a black bodysuit to try these on because honestly, that would be a good base for an outfit for me. And I feel like you can then accessorize it from there however you wish to. I'm standing all the way back here, so hopefully you guys can see these in full. Like I say, I've just paired them with a black bodysuit and I feel like you can just build on this outfit however you'd want to, accessorize it with loads of jewelry. Obviously it's a completely black outfit so you can pair it with any shoes and any bag and just like a massive coat thrown over the top, especially for this time of year. I really like these because I feel like they're perfect for dressing up for a night out or for the festive season of course, but they're also super easy to dress down. I don't see wear these in the day with like an oversized hoodie and some trainers or something like that. They're super comfortable to wear. I honestly feel like I'm wearing leggings. So I am really happy with them and I think they are super flattering, especially from behind. I feel like this style of trouser are always super flattering to your bottom half. I'm pleasantly surprised by these and I feel like I'm gonna get so much more wear out of them than I originally thought. So the final item I have to show you guys isn't actually from the party selection. House of CB very kindly let me pick something random from their website and I've been eyeing this up for the longest time. So I picked up one of their maxi cardigans. Now I also have the cream version of this and I have honestly worn it to death like I wore that thing till I literally couldn't anymore I feel like I've overworn it and I've seen so many people have the grey one and it honestly looks a little bit more cozier than the cream one and I've been wearing this non-stop as you guys know I've just come off holiday so this was perfect on the plane because it literally doubles up as a blanket and obviously we're in winter now so this is going to come in very handy so this is the cardigan on and as you can see it's just such a slouchy oversized fit I did actually get my last one in a large because I wanted to make sure that it was oversized but trust me guys stay true to your normal size or even size down just because because they do come up really big. When they design them, they obviously design them to be super oversized anyway, so there's literally no need to size up. If I stand back here, hopefully you guys can see, but this literally hits me at the shin, which is perfect length for me. I did want it to still have that maxi cardigan fit, but I didn't want it to be dragging on the floor because my cream one does drag on the floor, which is why I've kind of worn it to death. And it's looking a bit scraggy around the bottom. So I'm keeping this one super nice and making sure I don't damage it at all because I feel like these do look smart enough to wear out for a dinner or for drinks with your girls or something. I normally pair these cardigans with some blue skinny jeans a white bodysuit and I throw this over the top and you're good to go. If you want to dress it up a bit more you can definitely put some heels on but yeah there are obviously so many different ways that you can wear this cardigan and like I say I feel like so many of you guys are gonna love this too. If I come up closer hopefully you guys can see the detail a lot better. It's basically made out of this like chenille wool so it's super super soft wool and it's a really close knit so it actually keeps you so warm as well. I'm not gonna lie this definitely is one of my favourite pieces out of the entire haul just because of how much I wear it but obviously this video was mainly focused on their party collection and I feel like we found some really good pieces. So unfortunately that is everything that I had to show you guys for today's haul. I want to say a massive thank you to House of CB for working with me on today's video. It's always a pleasure and I love everything. I feel like I'm set for life now with my staples for the festive season because I honestly don't need to buy any other dresses. <laughs> I definitely wanted to pick out things from the collection that would be wearable for more or less everyone but this also definitely reflects my personal style. I'm a little bit more on the simpler side of things. I'm not really out there with patterns and sequins and stuff like that so I wanted to go for things that I know I'm going to get so much wear out of but of course I will leave their party collection link down below as well as everything that I've showed you in this haul so if there is anything that you want to pick up then just head down there and you'll find a direct link if you did enjoy today's video and you haven't yet subscribed then please feel free to do so but that being said I am going to wrap this video up here so thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys Woo!